Howdy folks, TJ here. Nice little banner behind me, eh? Gonna do a little bit of a different direction, although I will move the camera over here when we uh, play the game, but Sinclair Society Facebook group Game of the Week. What are we, the last week of uh, January. So, last week's game was pretty awesome, coloristic. I ended at level 59 out of 80. I kind of pooped out. I played pretty much a lot of hours on Friday. And then I could I should have kept playing on the weekend, but life is busy and I had other stuff to do. What I should do is install it on my little Omni over here and take it upstairs with me and then every night try to do a couple more levels and maybe I'll actually finally finish a game. The only games I can remember in my 54 years winning, actually all the way to the end, I should say, not winning, but making it all the way to the end, was Zork 1 and my own game, Invasion of the Cloud People, for the 48K Shmacky. <laughs> and not cheating, either. I actually played it and won a number of times. Um, I can't think of any others that I've really completed, completed, and got to the end and all that. It's pretty bad. <laughs> I am playing with my two two of the three cats in the room over here, so hopefully if I get loud and obnoxious, they don't hop up and start crashing and making uh, lights go all over the place. But we're going to play a new game this week, and I really like, like I said, I loved Coloristic last week. Hopefully this week's game is kind of on the same level. It looks really fun, and it's called The Light Corridor. And it looks really cool. It looks like a almost like a, a 3D Pong kind of game where you got a ball and you got to hit it down the corridor. Um, but you got to collect stuff along the way and you can't let the ball go past you or you die or lose a life or whatever. And it looked really neat, especially for a specky. So let's read the instructions. Got it over here on my screen. And um, then we'll go ahead and move the camera around and actually try to play it a little bit and see how far I can get. I did briefly load it up. I wanted to use my joystick, uh, but I couldn't get it to work on my joystick for some reason. I'm s setting Kempston. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe it's a, 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 a next in thing with this. I don't know. So I'm going to have to use the keyboard. Maybe later I'll figure out how to use the joystick. So if you're owning a next and you play this game, post down below how you got the joystick Kempston to work. I plugged it into number one and couldn't do anything. All right, so... It talks about loading instructions, which we don't care about. And this game came out for a lot of different platforms. Atari, Amstrad, MSX, I think Amiga, all sorts of them. And uh, let's see, the game, the object of the game. Equipped with a translucent racket, guide the metallic sphere from the heart of the light corridor. Avoid the walls and the traps. Gather the bonuses and fight all challenges that appear until arriving at the light at the end of the corridor. The challenge appear in four stages. The challenges appear in four stages. It's up to you to discover the secrets. All right. The game, move the cursor rectangle down from one menu to another by moving the joystick up and down, which, like I said, I tried and I couldn't get that to work. And I, I said it on Kempston, so I don't know. Um, so I ended up finding that you had to use QA, O, and P to move up and down, and the space bar to select. Uh, I'm not going to get into the controls of stuff. You can read for yourself when you, if you do play this game. Uh, but it looks like I'll be doing QA, O, P, and then pushing the space bar to move forward. And um, anything else that it talks about? Um... I'm reading here to see. Scores. Select the scores option to see the highest scores. Oh, that's just talking about some more settings stuff. So I think the object of the game has already been shown. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and wing it from now on. So let me go ahead and uh, position the camera around at the TV and actually try to play. I'm going to shut this off. And... Sinclair... Woo! Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Thanks, Gordon. That's an awesome gift you gave me. All right. Let's try to scope in on this over here. I guess I should probably... I got a big beard here on my shirt. I am quite fuzzy right now. <laughs> um, let's wake it up and see what the camera does. 
All right, maybe I'll uh, I'll just leave that other light going. That should be all right. All right, cool. All right. Did I press record? <laughs> Bob Boo's gonna say you say that every video. <laughs> Being a little quieter than normal. I should have kicked the cats out, but they look nice and cute over there, and I didn't want to bug them. All right. I put it in games. <clears throat> Let me get my coughs out. And I, it's a classic 128K game. Light Corridor. One. Infogrames, infograms? I already say infograms. Really, really good music. Let it play for a second so you can get the gist of things. Really cool. Okay, I'll hit space bar. Ooh, look at that. The Light Corridor, the Light Corridor copyright 1990. So this is really long after the heyday of the Specky, right? Spectrum version by New Frontier. So again, kind of fun music. Space bar. Maybe not. Return. It's going to make you go through all this, I guess. <laughs> the hits. Oh, there we go. Okay. So one player. So I'll just kind of quickly show you. So I went up here to... Um, down here to hardware and I went up to player one and I went and changed it to um, Kempston where it's flickering like that and then I went down and exited and then exit again and then start but then it doesn't um, let me do joystick I've unplugged the joystick now but anyway so I've selected Kempston right anyway start all right All right, so I, I think Spacebar gets the game started. Get ready! All right, so now I've got to position down and I'm gonna shoot the ball! And these are things I'm gonna collect. Oh! Ow! <laughs> what the hell? I, I thought I got there quick enough. This is fast! Oh, got it. Up high! Oh, I got two, two squares! Oh! Oh! Got him! Oh, you can trap it! Whoa! Those squares are going crazy! Oh, it kind of stopped me. My thing was too high, I guess. Oh! Oh, got it! Shoot it! Oh! Oh, is that automatic? That thing's just moving all around by itself. Oh, I trapped it again. trapped it okay can I go down further it's not let me shoot it oh hell I've kind of got stuck here I can't get past level two <coughs> okay what am I doing here is this a bug or is this just me okay so I've got the ball and I'm pushing spacebar to move forward, and it's not moving forward. I can move left and right, up and down. Oh, now how about down? No, see? Oh, I'm stuck. 
Bob? Bob Boo? How, what do I do now? <laughs> what the hell? Come on! You can't go backwards. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording here and see if I can figure out what the heck. I can't move. There's like a thing here and, the, and I can't bring the ball down. <laughs> Stupid. What the heck? Totally stopped. I read all the destructions. I don't see any way to get out of this. So I'm just gonna start new. I'm kind of wedged in here and I can't go backwards. I don't see any key for going backwards. So I'm like stuck. Stupid. Or I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna play again. What was the score? 18, 1,100 something? So at least, okay, I got a little, got a little distance into the game. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, I was doing pretty good. What's up with that? That's really strange. All right. So, um, let's just start. See this, this here you can't move. That's just unless you need to do something special to so you gotta shoot the ball, so that's when you can move forward. See and if that blocks there So bad. I really should have the joystick working on this. Okay, I should go up high. Cut that. Oh, down! Oh. I would do that, right? Oh, there we go. Down. <laughs> uh. Oh! Oh! There is an end. And you can't die. So game over player one. There really should be a back. Go back. Go back. Let's try again. I did better the first time. Really interesting. Oh! Player one, enter your name. Can I just type T J F E R R E I R A? Is that how you spell it? Yeah. Woo! Oh, let's go down and check out scores. Look at that! I beat Isidro Ruben. Juan, Jose, Alberto, Danny, and David. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Um, exit. Uh, start. We'll play one more time. I guess it bounces off of those things, huh? I really like the... Oh! Got it! I really like the uh, cuts up of this game. Oh, left! Oh, there must be a wall over there. Oh! Get me all confused. I don't know when they come together.
This is so trippy. I like it. I like it. How did I get... Oh, there's a sting again! Oh, did I make it past? All right. Oh. Shoot! Run up! Get the points! Oh, down! Oh! That thing's doing it all by itself! So this, so this other square does stuff on its own some. I'm not doing some of that for sure. <laughs> oh. Oh, left. Come on, go down. Oh, I'm stuck in this rut. Oh, God! I'm playing bloody pong with myself! I'm up as high as I can go. I need to put it at an angle. Oh, no! Oh! How do you... How do you get it down at a different angle? moving that oh okay now this is tricky I don't know how to get it at an angle to shoot it down oh there we go finally up oh, down shoot up over oh it's on top oh the ball is falling Get ready. Oh, no. Oh, wall's moving. Oh, go for it. Oh, surprised I'm not dead yet. Where's the ball? I hope it's not behind me. Oh, no. Oh, what the hell? Oh, green color! Oh, I got it trapped somehow. I wish I knew what I was doing. <laughs> You gotta angle it and put it around. This is really trippy. I like it. I'm doing all right too. Whoa!
Oh! No. Oh! How many lives do you get? Oh, right through. Nice. Oh, no. There we go. Got itchies. Oh! Oh! I'm going to go to get those points. Wow! 4,380 points. Pretty successful. <laughs> nice. All right. Um, give it a whirl, folks. Post your score on your basically first attempt and don't get trapped like I did where I didn't know how to get out of that stuck position. Anyway, great game. Thanks for watching. See ya.